Welcome to Global Social News, a channel that brings you the latest gist and news from around the world. Kindly press the subscribe and notification button so that you will get notified as soon as we post a new video. Thank you. Now let's get to the news for today. This issue as audio has been aired by different platforms across the social media. The Dunamis schoolteacher who was arrested sues senior pastor Enink, wife, and others for illegal dismissal. The school is owned by the senior pastor of the Dunamis International Gospel Center, Dr. Paul Enink and his wife, Becky. Prior to the dismissal, a video was secretly recorded where Pastor Becky Enich was heard advising the accused. She didn't know that she was recorded. Now listen to the audio of the conversation between the accused and Pastor Becky. Yes, my wife was, my wife ran out of the house and tried to, to video what was happening. And uh, Gabriel Agbo attacked her and smashed the phone, the phones. She had two phones on her. She said he smashed, smashed the phones and she, she couldn't uh, get the, the video of, of the incident. So um, uh, I, when I broke free, I was walking out to go to the police station. And then they followed me with their police van to try to take me to the River Park police station. And I said, no, I will go to the station myself. I can find my way to the station. So I went to Lugwe police station because Lugwe police station was actually the one that uh, was closest to me. So I went there and they, and they, they, they asked me if it was a follow-up of a case that was uh, already being investigated. And I said, yes. And so they directed me to the federal CID where I had reported my own case initially. So I got there and then the federal CID people uh, came, took me to hospital and treated me of, of some of the wounds I sustained as a result of the attacks. And they took me, they brought me because I, as I, when I left, Gabriel Agbo, that's the, the bodyguard of the pastor, had instructed them not to let me back into the compound. So when we got here, the, the, uh, the officers from the federal CID uh, asked them why, and they said that my attention was needed at the River Park Police Station. So we all went there, and they said that I fought with a police officer, that I assaulted a police officer. So they were charging me with the with uh, with criminal in intimidation of a police officer. And uh, yes, G Gabriel had informed them that I was a threat to him that I threatened him, I used intimidating words and tre threatening words too. So uh, we, were, we were able to, to uh, 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 be granted bail. And so I came home. And then of course, that has been the, a summary of everything that's happened so far. I changed my phone, so my numbers became all messed up. I mistakenly put an app that says they are helping you to arrange your numbers. That uh, any number that will cost twice, they will uh, sweep it. Instead of they deleted my numbers. And I couldn't get them back, so that's been the issue. So, Mr. Okochi. Yes, ma'am. Did you call me the lawyer again? Uh, I thought you said you wanted me? to call me. Yes, I'm alone. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, often times when I have invited you, you you tell me you prefer to come with your lawyer. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, since you're here, your lawyer is not actually necessary in this case. No, it's not. So, Mr. Kuchi, we're all aware of what the situation is. I want to find out what is your current, uh, what's your current uh, plan to take. When this whole thing happened, I've maintained only one stand to clear my name. I've labored in this place. I've worked here tirelessly, giving my all. Seven years of, of, of my most youthful life. So you worked seven years too. And if I'm no longer needed, they can ask me to go and I'll go. To tie me to molestation, 
and 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 kill my name is what I want to. That's why I I've been going. Okay. People will let you can take your time. I know. That's okay. Let's follow Mr. Abuji. And uh, I think uh, you are just some. Uh, let me see. No, Mr. Abuji, no, it's no. okay. Don't just, worry. just a moment, please. <laughs> um, I had the board had even called the girl. We spoke with her and some other persons that uh, corroborated what she said. So if you are to take it up legally, I don't think it's a battle you can win, very sincerely. But I think that is not why mommy has been very magnanimous in that matter. And uh, I think if you are not on the defensive, you could be given a very soft landing. That's my thinking. That's my take. Well, I just wanted to... I pushed for you to be patron. Yes. I saw you as very zealous and everything. If people felt me, but I felt why not? And then When the whole of this matter came up, this is my stand, all right? My stand is the cameras will not lie. There's a camera you avoided, but there was a, a blind spot which had a different form of camera, quite hidden, which you are not avoiding. We have to take this. But we don't want to bother with those angles. What I want you to do is to go and put in the resignation letter. Just calmly put in the resignation letter. You have served the school for seven years using a, 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 a chunk of your very youthful and productive years. You wish to move on with your life and you'd like to put in the resignation. You'll be grateful if your application is favorably considered. In that light, if you have a resignation bring a, brought in, what we issue to you is an approval of your resignation and then you are entitled to disengagement packages. If, however, you are not in agreement with what I'm discussing with you, we will give you a release letter. And the release letter comes with no packages and you have no document to present in another school or in another workplace to say you worked in X, Y, Z. But with a resignation letter, your resignation letter copy is with you, the agreement to your resignation is attached to you, and if you apply in another place, say, so why are you not working in Destiny Academy? No, I resigned. Why did you resign? I want to move forward with my life. There is no how they will call the school and say, we want to confirm about one of your staff who was working with you is here with an application to work with us. Um, what's your recommendation? Over the years, it's all fine. If you find him qualified and he passes all your uh, employment criteria, why not take him? He did a good job. We have done it. It's not one person, it's not two, it's not three. Okay? Over the years, both in the church here itself and at least one of the people from the school. That's all I wanted to talk with you about that day. And I'm saying this because this is August. August almost ending now. Schools are recruiting. Parastatals are recruiting. This is recruitment time because people normally recruit and do postings and do placements before September so that those that are relocating to a new town, relocating to a new area, can relocate their children's schools and all those kind of things. So I am just speaking on your interest so that we forge a way forward. I know that, that's why I actually told uh, uh, Mr. Paul that if you wanted to come with your lawyer, you can because I know your lawyer will be pushing you. Ah, is it not doing this? Take them, sue them to court. They will pay you. They will pay you damages. Why should they tarnish your name? For there will be no such thing. There will be no damages to be paid. The church will not pay any money. Destiny Academy is autonomous of dunamis. 
Destiny Academy, we run just sufficient to buy the food for the children in the school, pay the teacher's salaries, and then run on a minimum. There's no amount they will charge us that will be available. We'll show the bank the account details. Where is that amount going to come from? So there's just tell your lawyer that this is not a, this is not a, a path to trade for your for your peace of mind, for your children, for your wife and yourself, so that you can move on and forge on ahead. I had even told Mr. Paul at the very beginning of the whole matter, I said, how can you ask him to leave? Where is he leaving to? Oh yeah, go give him money for house rent so that he can move out of the house. And Mr. Paul is as strong-headed as you. You know Mr. Paul now. <laughs> so it's like two heads are jamming. That's where this whole matter is. For me, the first week, when your wife met me at the staircase, I said, don't want to look into it. I've not heard. I didn't know anything about it. It was your wife missing me at the corridor, at the staircase, that I heard that there was an issue. Well, and I called Paul. I said, what happened? What's going on? And then he gave me a brief. So I said, how can you tell them to move out of the house? Because your wife was saying that they gave you, is it four days to move out or uh, one week to move out? I can't remember. So I told him, you can't tell somebody to just move out like that. Give him money for house rent. We brought him from the house he was renting to here. So we give him money to go back. If that house is still available, you go and take that house. Then any other thing, you can sort it out. That's what I said. Then everything now turned. The next thing, Paul was telling me, you took them to police, blah, 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 blah. I said, what is this? I've been so busy, it's Mr. Paul, he came with somebody yesterday, and then he said, hey, there's this issue we'll be wanting to see you about. I said, oh, what is it? He said, no, you come back another day. I said, today that you saw me, better tell me. So he now said, I said, no, 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 That's not it. I've been trying to get him. I went there. I yes, couldn't get him. And he so, knocked several times. Yes. You were told. I knocked, I shouted, I said, it's mommy, I'm not here with police, so I'm not here with anybody. Open the door. I want to have a discussion with you. But there was no answer, so I left. We, we were not in the house at the time. My um, sister-in-law gave birth, so my wife was there with the children, and I was away. Um, I, I appreciate you, Mommy, for giving me this audience. Um, I still think that this whole thing is one-sided. I've known, I've known Paul Onoja for a long time. We were in the university together. And by being here, I've known all the shady things he does. I know how Paul can come before you and daddy and make people look bad so that those yeah, people... Sorry, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to... One minute, one minute. I'm going to... One minute, please. Just... Please. I'm just going to what? say no, what wait, is happening. No, one minute. This whole this whole issue, you said I was on just the defensive. Wait. This whole issue you know is, is a gang up between Chioma and Paul. You look at me like a person that listens to DSC. I don't have that time. Uh, you don't know my schedule today. If uh, you see an option has been presented to you. What I, I'm I, just think I think is that's what you should work on. Yes. Work on that first. Then you can have an audience. She has a preaching. She, she may have a preaching. I may have. So, do you understand what I mean? Okay. So, work on this option. Yes or no? If yes, you go ahead. If no, then you said no. If then, no, then we go Then another, go if you now, if you want to see her on some other issues, you could uh, seek for an appointment. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, no, mommy. Thank you, Mr. Ibocha. Thank you. Yes, I'll be waiting to hear from you. Okay. And, uh, you know, I said to people, if you think somebody's corrupt, it's just a little matter of time. Do you know what happened? I have a chair. Because, you know, we, get, we stay here most of the time now. So, like, on Sundays, we go there. Somebody, somebody built a, a two-bedroom for us here on the premises. He, he, he came, he sells a certain block, a certain kind of block. So he said he needs a place so that he can showcase it. So people can come and look at the sample. Yes. So when he was building, like it was almost done, and then the Holy Spirit told him to give it to us to stay in. So 
I, I, I kept on saying that if they had told me from the beginning that I'd been part of the construction, because now the place is so tiny, the rooms are like this. <laughs> our clothes, everything is still in our house. You know, so we just go there at the weekend. Pick. I was even supposed to go to bring my clothes for convention and I couldn't go. So anyway, what was I saying? In the process of what he was doing, his uh, engineer was sort of changing him. So he never knew until they started the work here. The work here is what exposed the man. The man has left him now. He has asked the man to go. He, one day he gave him a quotation and put exactly 850000 above the required amount. You know what happened? He submitted it. The money was released to him. The next morning on his way coming to the same place, his engine knocked. He took it to the mechanic. They told it to the mechanic. The exact 850000 was the amount required. <laughs> you understand? So I said to Paul, I said, this place is not where you can do funny deals and get away with it. We, the, we have seen it ever. No, it is not. There's a gentleman that was working as we started staying here temporarily now. We now left him there to be cooking for the, the security and some other people that are there, my dogs and all. They will send him to the market. He will go and still collect the food on credit and he's with the money. It didn't take like a month or so. It got exposed. So if Paul is doing shady things, it will come out, sir. Uh, it, it will it, come out. It's, it's not the angle I'm looking at. Uh, so whatever it is, it will it come is out. It is between Choma and Paul who have sworn to make me suffer. Don't worry, you won't suffer. Will you put in your resignation letter? Then you'll find I, another good I, job and move into it. But the way you are taking it through their predictions can come to pass. They won't, they can't. Uh -huh. so they that's won't. What I'm, advising you I'm, to I'm just right trying way. to let you know what they have been doing to have caused what happened now. It's okay, no problem. I'll find out about it. Okay. It will be on edit and it will be sorted out. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And please, you've got to come down because it will happen a lot of anger and a lot of bitterness and it's all going to for the sake of your health and the sake of your eternity. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank Mr. You, Paul, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I won't say much. You guys have the comment section to say what you want. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and press the notification bell. Thank you.